I'm curious, we're talking about you guys learning as you're going along. When did it become apparent uh, that this story wasn't just about uh, the actual events of that day, but all of these systems, the corruption within each system, the, the failed system, the media uh, uh, t latching onto the story, using it for its own purposes. When did it become clear to you guys that you were telling a much bigger story than just what happened that day? Well, uh, we were kind of following it as it went along. So, look, you know, things were unfolding as, you know, we, we told the story. So, you know, we obviously have the historical perspective, you know, the incident and, you know, the, the things that led up to even to this day. So uh, while we were doing that, we were kind of following things as they went along. So yeah. we're, we're learning on the fly. Uh, and as uh, the defense team is making their assertions and uh, the observations of how the media handle it, uh, you know, the uh, Mike and uh, his, his colleagues are making their assertions. So um, you just, you, you, you be very responsible to try to capture as much as you can, given the resources that you have. So we were learning as all these things were getting disclosed uh, along the way. Yeah. Uh, what's fascinating and uh, gut-wrenching at the same time, yes, is you take this moment and you think about the butterfly effect mm -hmm. from this moment. Y yes, and how many people are profoundly impacted by this moment. Paul and I are used to telling stories uh, where the winners and uh, losers. Uh, Yankees win, uh, the Astros lose. There is, uh, that is not the case here. There are casualties all around. And uh, that is something that we... We knew that we had to be uh, vigilant, uh, yes, and balanced about that storytelling uh, to the point that uh, we had a staff that was very, uh, quite frankly, a very split, yeah. uh, yes, and how they felt about this. And uh, Paul and I knew uh, that as the leaders of this show, uh, we had to find that middle ground and be very vigilant, uh, yes, and how we told that story uh, to the point that, you know, uh, Paul spent a lot of time in Leavenworth. Um, yeah, more than some may inmates actually at you know at a certain point and um so paul was uh was spending a lot of time with the inmate uh with the family uh, with the legal team he, and we felt that it was our responsibility uh, then when we first uh, reached out to the platoon that uh, maybe it was time uh, for me uh, yes and other members of the staff to go do those interviews uh, we wanted to have that uh, separation yeah. uh, you know and then find that middle ground.